everyone. It's Delaney, Senior Inbound Marketing Specialist at Hive House Digital. Today, I'm going to show you how to manually create tasks in HubSpot and how to manage them. There are a lot of ways that you can create tasks in HubSpot, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to talk about manually creating tasks. So to do this, you're going to click on Sales and then Tasks from the drop-down menu. And here you can see all of your current assigned tasks. We'll come back to this in a minute. To create a task, you're gonna click on the orange button in the right corner that says Create Task. And then you're going to create your task. So let's say for this example, I want to create a weekly follow-up email with a client. So I'll say weekly follow-up with Julie. And I will make that an email as the type. You can also do a to do or call. And then I can assign a priority. So none, low, medium, or high. I'm going to choose medium. And then you want to associate the record with the task. So that record pops up when you are working on your task queue. So I'm going to search for Julie. And I can find her right here. And then it will default to assigning the task to you. But if you're creating a task for a colleague, you can go ahead and change that here. And then we're not going to go over queues in this video, but if you use queues, you can choose the queue here. And then the due date. So let's say I want to start it today. So I'm going to set a due date of today and I will do that at 11.15 a.m. But I also want to set this to repeat. And this is really the only place you can set reoccurring tasks. So I'm going to click on the checkbox and we're going to change this to every week. And then you can also set a reminder if you think you will need a reminder. Um, I'm a little bit limited right now because I said I'm going to start it today. <laughs> um, but you can choose a reminder here if you want and you can also do a custom date. And then the note section is for if you want to add any notes for when you are working on the task. You can go ahead and click create when you're done or create and add another if you have more than one task to create. I'm going to just click on create. So we've created the task. If I refresh my screen, we should be able to see it right here, weekly follow up with Julie. And so the default is going to show you all of your tasks that are assigned from now way into the future. If you just wanna look at your due date tasks, you can go ahead and click this due today tab and it will show you all of the tasks that are due today. You also have this overdue tab, which will show you any overdue tasks as well as upcoming if you just wanna look at what's coming up in the future. Let's go back to all. You can also search for a task by title, uh, by assignee, the task type. So if you just want to do a bunch of calls, you can filter by calls. Uh, you can also do the due date here, the queue if you're using that. And then more filters will um, give you availability to other filters like priority, uh, sequences, if you're using sequence sequences. And then you also have like task status. So if you want to filter, you can filter there. Now, let's say you want to start working on your tasks, um, but you don't necessarily want to start working on tasks that you can do in the future. I would go over to the due today column. So you're only working on the tasks that are due today. And you can go ahead and click this blue button in the right corner that says start tasks. So I'm going to click that. And you can see that the first task says review sales pipeline, but it's not associated with a record. Now, um, I can go ahead and associate it with a record, mark it complete, or skip task. Now, this task doesn't need to be associated with a record. It's just a reminder to myself to review the sales pipeline. So let's say we want to go ahead, we'll exit out of the task queue, and we'll go and review the pipeline. Um, or you can click on the task itself and open it in another tab, and you can see the, the, the details here. You can see I put a note that has a link to the deals pipeline. Um, and I can go back to my other screen and say, mark complete once I finish it. Now you can see that this was uh, associated with a record. This says follow up about proposal. Um, and let's say, you know what? I want to do this at a later date. Um, this task maybe is a little bit early to follow up. I just sent it. I can go ahead and click reschedule and say, let's say I want to do this tomorrow. Um, I can go ahead and update the due date and click save and the task has been rescheduled and I can go ahead and click next. 
Now you can see another example. I forgot to associate um, a task with this task of emailing Elizabeth. So I'm going to go ahead and click associate with record. I'm going to search for Elizabeth and add associations, and it has now brought me to her contact record, and it detected that I want to email her, so it automatically pulled up the email editor. Super handy for that to happen. So let's say I emailed her, it's all set, I can go ahead and click complete. And we are now on the last task, and that is our weekly follow-up with Julie. Uh, it has pulled up the email editor, which is really helpful. Um, and I can go ahead and click complete and I have finished my task queue for the day. I can go ahead and click back to tasks. You can see due today, everything is all caught up. And then if we go to all, we can see everything that's going to be happening in the coming few days and weeks. And if you even have tasks six months out, it'll also show up here under all, which is why it's really helpful to do that filtering for due date. You, of course, can start tasks in this view um, because if you want to get a head start on your task for tomorrow, you can always do that. Now, I want to show you one more way that you can manage your tasks for the day, but to do that, I need tasks that are actually due today, and since we just completed them, I'm going to take a minute and create a few tasks, and then I will show you the new task uh, tool that HubSpot has recently come out with. All right, so I just created two tasks due today. And to get to this new task management screen, you're gonna click on sales and then the prospecting uh, tab from the drop down. This is a new beta tool that HubSpot has been rolling out. Um, and there's a lot more to it. We're we can cover that in another video. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I wanna highlight the task management section. So you can see on the left-hand side, we've got my name and my task project. So I can see how many to-dos I've completed today, how many emails I've completed that are due today, and any calls. Um, you can also choose how many are overdue uh, and how many have been completed. Uh, there's some other tools like your schedule, meetings, sequences, um, but here it's going to show your tasks there's a highlight for overdue tasks, but also um, what I've got to do today. So I'm all caught up on to-dos and calls, but I have two email tasks. And really simply, I can just click on start all two tasks today. And it will bring me to a different version of the task management tool. This is in beta mode, so I would expect changes to come in the coming months. Um, and you can see that it pulls up a shortened version of the contact record profile if you need to reference anything. Um, but to complete a task, you can go ahead and click the check mark. Um, and it will ask you if you want a follow up tasks. And I will just say not right now. And then we have the next one, which was follow up on proposal. Um, let's say you don't want to do this right now. Actually, you need to schedule it for a few days. You can click on edit and it brings up the full task creator editor tool. And I can say that I want to do this in three business days on Friday, then I'll save. And the task due date has been edited and we're all set. And so I can go back to the summary. And if I refresh, it will tell me that I am all caught up on my tasks. So this is a new tool. It is in beta mode. Um, if you don't have it in your HubSpot account, it should be appearing shortly. And it's just a new way to manage your tasks as well as work on your leads. Um, that's really the, the main purpose behind it. So we'll go over this new tool in another video, um, but this is just what you can do with it to manage your tasks. That is all we have for you today. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our next tech tip.